Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations and in this video I want to show y'all how I am doing my wig prep for wearing this bad boy. She's a big one. <laughs> um, headdress and everything. So I'm going to need to do, let me adjust the camera, just, there we go. I'm going to need to do a really like structural and secure uh, prep. And this is actually how I wore my hair underneath my Bulma costume with my wig as well. Um, now you'll also, you'll notice I have really, really high temples on both sides. I do have some hair growth coming back in. So, yay. That's really great. But, so I'm not going to do my part on the sides the way I normally would. Because I normally wear my hair just kind of parted like that. Um, I'm actually going to do a straight part ish. It only really needs to come back so far. Um, that way I've got a nice even amount of hair on both sides and then I'm only going to be really grabbing an inch. I wish I had some hair ties over me, but I didn't think that far ahead, but I'm going to come about an inch back or so. Do -do 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 and you can see, I, I actually have a gap there of no hair. So, um, I'm going to come back a little bit further. So this is hitting, you can see where the uh, rat tail comb is coming out just right above where the top of my ear attaches. There we go. And I'm just going to comb all of this kind of forward away from that you don't have to be this neat and tidy with it with straight lines but I find that it just it really helps me um to do that I'm just gonna take this clip it back and my hair doesn't want to stay in those clips so there we go that one's a lot more secure so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side I'm actually gonna, just gonna start from below work my way up there we go you can see super thin right there so I'm gonna come just a little farther back Try to grab a little bit more hair and um I'm 29 but this is kind of I look just like my dad really um and I'm going I have a receding hairline in the same way that he did um so that's gonna be fun to deal with but it's also was not helped by the fact that for the past 10 years, I've been wearing super tight buns, like way up high with very long, otherwise thick hair. Um, so just that little bit of hair growth that I showed y'all was from like the past like two months, not wearing my hair up in a bun almost at all. Um, which I think has been good for me. Now I'm just gonna, I ran out of clips. Oh, the cats are fighting. Sorry. Um, I'm just going to do a quick braid to hold this back out of the way. Hair tie. Excellent. Found one in my moment of need. Uh, so I'm going to get these clips out of the way. Or throw them on the ground. You'll wonder why I can never find any. But yeah, anytime now that I wear my hair up, I go ahead and part it much farther back. That way it's not pulling on my scalp as much. Okay, so now you can see I have this hair here. We're going to do this side first. But we want it to be nice and tangle free. And I actually, this is, I washed my hair morning of yesterday. And so this is, um, I do have a little bit of grease, a little bit of, like my hair is not greasy, but there there are some oils in it. And some hair product, like some hairspray. Um, and I actually think that helps it to hold together a little bit better. Because you do not want to have to do this whenever you're all fluffy and possibly frizzy from fresh out of the shower. So I'm just going to start doing a little French braid. And so I'm getting a braid going, grabbing just a little bit of hair, adding it in. And I'm grabbing from both sides. Come on, camera don't get blurry on me now. 
and also just so you know this is the best look in the world for me I'm just saying uh, <laughs> so it looks pretty goofy now but um it's gonna look even goofier if my wig's slipping all over the place so in this way I'm actually able to get this braid to keep happening right over my more or less bald spot now also I don't want to do it so tight on my tender temples if I start running out of hair I'm just gonna move a few more stitches for lack of a better down and then work my way keep adding Also, I want to get as much of my sideburn up and into it as I can. Because for as little hair as I have right here, I have a ton of it right there. <laughs> but isn't that how it goes? And I'm just braiding this down to the tip. And then I am going to use wait, some of these guys. From Sally's Hair Supply. But I will have links to all the different tools and materials that I'm using down in the video description. Oh, and by the way, these hurt whenever they snap and pop me on the lip. <laughs> but I had a super plump lip for a minute. <laughs> so I was like, <sighs> optimism, I guess. Okay, so there we go. So yeah, not, not the blessed for me, I don't know. I'd go to the store like this if I needed some coffee creamer or something, if it were an emergency. Um, so I'm going to actually go ahead and do this exact same thing on the other side and then I'll meet you all right back here. Okay, so there they are. I just lost my rubber band. So I got this one braided down. And getting the little ends tied off. There we go. <laughs> like that's gravity defying though right there okay focus um and so now we're gonna take the rest of our hair and I'm actually just gonna do a regular old French braid um straight down the middle I like tying it off with these little rubber bands um because they don't add a bunch of bulk <laughs> I can't take myself seriously looking like this but I've just got it on my finger here. I'm gonna turn around so hopefully, yeah, y'all can see. I was just parishioning off a section. It's actually getting pretty tight on my finger. There we go. Okay. Dividing it into three. Bring the two sides up, grabbing the middle and moving it off to the right. Moving the left to the right, bringing the center over. Make it, and then bring the right. And now I'm just gonna pick up. There we go. I'm actually gonna show you guys. If you are not good at French braiding your hair, this is actually how I learned. My friend Brittany, when I lived up in Southern Ohio, taught me how to do this. And for the longest time, this was how I would French braid my hair. So I'm just gonna take this first section and I'm going to practice braiding down just braid however you would have normally braided until you have you know a bit and now grab a section from each side and so between that braid and the two pieces make a braid so, I mean, this isn't truly a French braid, but it starts building up your mind-hand coordination. It just occurred to me, I really hope you guys can hear me. But um, it builds up your mind-hand coordination, and it also, it wouldn't seem like you would need it, but it takes a lot holding your arms up over your head the whole time. So, I'm going to come back a little bit more, grab off two more sections. And then just make a braid. 
And so you would continue to do that all the way down, but now whenever you're holding this part, instead of grabbing and trading, what we would do is just grab a section and then I add it in. See how I kind of grab it there? And then trade sides. Grab a section. Add it in. Oh, hey, it's pretty. And then you just kind of repeat that the whole way. start getting down to the bottom I'm trying to train it up I don't want a French braid here that is going to relax down the back of my neck I want to be pulling that hair upward I still can't take this hair seriously, but I want, I want my hair as compacted to my head as possible, as just snug and tight and everything kind of sitting flat. I'm going to pull this all the as close down to the tip of my hair as what I can get it. Bind it off. Because if I used a regular hair tie, this generates a way more bulk than just a tiny little rubber band. Okay, so now we have two different kinds of wig caps that we can choose from. Or oh, I thought we did. What did I do with it? Um, the first variety that I'm looking for is a like fishnet stocking kind of wig cap. It's open all the way through. Hey Randy, do you know where that stocking went? The fishnet one? The wig cap. Ah, there it is. Here we go. Um, kind of like this. And you can, if you want, double up on them. Not necessarily always required, but you can do it. So I would take something like this. And I've actually used glue sticks for this next step, but this time I'm actually going to use, it's called Got To Be Glued. It's a type of hairspray that I really like. The little knot here, I don't know if you can see, I try to not have that on my forehead because it actually like almost bruised me last time I wore it. Um, so, which is why I'm gonna recommend the next type that my friend Azmuth Hidden Thicket here on YouTube. So you can see I've got it over my ears, over everything, especially here in the back. I actually think for this costume, I'm gonna like shave that down. Well, I don't know. Uh, my Bulma has a high ponytail, so I want to trim it down for that, but it probably won't be necessary. But with it snagging all those little baby hairs, I'm just going to slip my ears out from underneath it. Again, great look for me. <laughs> and I'm just going to bring this up and let it sit just a little in front of my natural hairline. And you can take this and you can like fold and cross and pin it if you want. The kinds of pins that I like to use are, this is what the cap looks like. This is what the container looks like. And I like it because it comes in two different lengths. But I'm just going to take this one. And I like them because there's no balls on the end. They're just straight pins. Now they aren't particularly sharp, but I'm just taking this and I'm putting it in here and then pushing through. And then I'm going to take another one. I'm going to put it in right here and push through. And that keeps, I mean, there's no bulging on that wig cap now. Now what we can do from here, and this would actually be something that you could do before the wig cap, wig cap is take this got to be glued. Let's take this just a little farther back. And, um, 
and just take it and train your little baby hairs every little bit just slide that right back Ooh. I almost need to wear swim goggles when I put this stuff on so I don't get it in my eyeballs I'm just not very good at putting hairspray on though but I mean it will blast like it looks like that hornet spray that'll go 20 feet I haven't tested it because I cherish this stuff but it's affordable enough one day I might actually do a test and be like what's the spray distance on got to be glued um <laughs> so I'm gonna let that dry but I'm also just around the back here And normally I would do this before I put the wig cap on um, just so I could get to all the different places like really train that hair back but now I'm just gonna take this and again put it down past my hairline make sure everything's trained back nicely and pop my little ears out um, there we go now this one this wig cap and as with made, you can see he just whip stitched the hem there on the inside. And what this is, these are regular control top uh, pantyhose. And what's really great about these is you can still put a hairpin through it without it snagging or anything like that. No, it's no runners. Um, and the seam on it is very minimal. But what's more is it's just it's really comfortable the wide band is much more comfortable than this narrow one for all day wear so I'm just gonna take this now also though it doesn't have that little hole in the top so take this hook it on the front first and I'm the type I really like to overshoot um, and again you could pin down the little floppy ears that it gives you <laughs> Randy look at my ears <laughs> um, you could pin those down, but I'm not going to bother with it. But I, I really like these because you can get them in a variety of tones to match. I wish I could have gotten mine a little paler than this, but you can get it to match um, for if you have a skin cap or like lace cap on your wig. Um, and it might match a little bit better than having the black netting showing through. If you're wearing a dark colored wig, it doesn't matter as much, but I'm wearing a blonde and blue one. Now also, this is something, you, like these are totally washable. Um, again, I'm going to take this and kind of pin them down. Um, I'm going to use large pins this time. But I could go through with the wet got to be glued and secure this just a little bit tighter to my hairline. Just every little bit of, um, every little bit. <laughs> Here, let me turn this around. That one didn't really do much of anything. But every little bit of pre preparation and precaution really goes a long way in getting these, uh, your long all day wear of your wig. Okay, so with that still sitting on there pretty thick. There we are, that's my prep. And so now you would just place the wig and I use these pins, depending on the style of the front, to push through into underneath those little braids. Um, so let me get this wig kind of disassembled a little bit, like I need to take the headdress off and then I'll meet you guys back here and we'll put this wig on and see how it looks. Hey guys, so I'm editing this video and I just realized I completely don't have any of that footage of me putting the wig on. Um, oops. So, but there will be links or something popping up on the screen showing you how I styled the wig. And then also I might put in some pictures of what I looked like with it on. With it, uh, 
you know, styled and everything. And then hopefully um, we're doing a photo, a professional photo shoot a little later this week. And so I should be getting some footage of me putting it on then. So sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't like being like, oh, I'm going to do this. And then pfft, nope. Um, so, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas, you know I love hearing from you. Please leave your uh, comments and stuff down below. Or you can tag me on Facebook or Instagram or post stuff to my wall or just whatever you like. Again, all of those links are down below. And then also, if you guys would like to support me um, beyond just liking and sharing and hanging out and stuff, uh, please consider joining me on Patreon. We do all sorts of giveaways and different things um, and everything. Even if you just follow me without pledging on Patreon, I post all sorts of exclusive stuff over there. But um, even as little as a dollar a month goes a long way in keeping these daily videos coming and all sorts of stuff that we do here at Back to Earth Creations. So thank you guys again for hanging out with me. I really hope that this was helpful to you because it's I was like just scouring the internet trying to find different ways to be able to get this wig to be stabilized on my brain case um and fortunately there were a lot of really helpful tutorials out there and um I'll put some links to the ones that I found like really found most helpful uh, down in the video description as well because there was a lot of really good videos that helped me find my way uh with kind of doing this so thank you everybody and I'll see y'all in my next video <laughs> bye <laughs>